everyone. This is Homeopathy 1 Time 1 with Victoria. In this video, I will speak about remedies that can help in labor and delivery. Women in childbirth often face difficulties that have no therapy in traditional medicine. Having some homeopathic remedies with you could help you to get through this beautiful moment with less suffering. There is not one remedy to give birth better, but a series of remedies that can help depending on the symptomatology of the pregnant woman. We have to take care of the local symptoms, the general symptoms, and also the mental aspect. Let's start with the first remedy. We can see a woman very anxious for the outcome of the delivery with restlessness and compulsion to walk. She can also be irritable, sad and melancholic. On the physical level, irregular pains in rhythm, localization and irradiation, slow and insufficient dilation, labor does not proceed. Difficult exploration from the obstetric from local hypersensitivity. In this case, it's possible to use Actea Rexamosa or Zimitsifuga. Anxiety is also very common for the second remedy. Here we can also find tremors and drowsiness. The dilation is complete, but there is an uterine inertia. Constraction decrease in frequency and intensity. Lack of strength. The pains extend upwards with a sensation of constriction in the throat. In this case, Jasmium could have the patient. During labor, the woman could become very irritable. In this case, we can consider two other remedies. The first is chamomilla. In this case, the strong irritability is accompanied with red and congested face. The pains extend from the sacrum to the thighs and there is a complete intolerance to pain. Labor does not proceed. Very difficult exploration that reveals a rigid and contracted os uteri. If irritability is accompanied with exhaustion, we could think caulophilum. Constructions are irregular, short and insufficient. There is stiffness of osuteri with uterine autony. Pains are spasmodic and extend in all direction to the groin, so severe that the patient has to hold on to something to bear them. The woman feels pain like needles in the uterus and she is usually thirst. When constructions are irregular, and ineffective, the pain can cause palpitations and fainting, and the patient feels suffocated and wants the windows open, we can think of pulsatilla. There is a constant strong pressure on the sacrum that causes tension and pain in the tides. The pains extend from the sacrum to the stomach with possible vomiting. The last remedy is a remedy for severe situations. In this case, the woman is very weak and there is often fainting. The uterus is flaccid. Is the remedy for so-called horrible constrictions. The constriction is felt in the middle of the uterus as a result of abnormal muscular contraction. Horrible constriction may be complication of labor tending to trap the placenta in the upper part of the constricted uterus and possible leading to excessive blood loss of after delivery. There is also a bearing down sensation. In this case, the remedy will be seccale. 
I hope I've been able to provide useful information in this section as well, and you will reach for your homeopathy pharmacy with your hands selecting the most suitable homeopathy remedy for your symptoms. Let's heal naturally without side effects. Let's meet in the next episode where we will explore another interesting topic. Goodbye!